who was with the Pacers organization still and was a great front court player for them and Bobby Slick Leonard the player in the early pioneer days of the NBA when much of the travel was by train and one of the founders really of the ABA and coach of great Pacers teams here in the late 60s and in the 70s Robert Ory out of the corner and a foul on the rebound Sam Perkins is called for it. The ABA existed for only nine seasons. The Pacers made the final five times and won it three of those times. Here's Derek Fisher, fouled by Crozier. I tell you, nothing is going to be easy here at the end of this game going to the basket. A lot of hard fouls. The referees are really going to have to stay on top of what's going on. Last possession, a lot of action after the foul on Shaq. The guys took a couple little shots at him. This is where the referees really have to blow that whistle. You know, as you fellas in the NBA learned after the merger, you especially in Philadelphia, because guys like Caldwell Jones and Dr. J and George McGinnis were on your team. There were a lot of players in the old ABA who were underrated. Some of them got to show their stuff in the NBA, like Dr. J. Others, like Roger Brown and Willie Wise and James Silas, had their best years in the relative obscurity of the ABA, and they were great players, all of them. Here's Austin Crozier. Back up top to Jalen Rose. He goes down the lane by Shaq and lays it in. Jalen Rose has been terrific from start to finish. Jim Gray had said his tailbone was bothering him a little bit at halftime, but I have not seen any problem in his movement as Shaq swings in there and hits that little jump shot. So this is a good sign for Indiana that you don't see the after effects of that hard foul or that hard fall that Rose took. Shaq stripped it from Rose, who can't believe that he wasn't fouled. Derek Fisher unleashes a three. Nothing but white shirts underneath, and McKee takes it. How long does Phil keep Shaq and Kobe in the game? Now, remember, Kobe has had a bad ankle. Shaq has played a lot of minutes. At what point in time does he say this game is done? Big smooth, Sam Perkins. It ought to be done now. But the last thing you want if you're Phil with a 3-2 three, three, lead going home is for one of your star players to get hurt at the end of this game. It looked like a shot that worked like a pass. Kobe to Shaq, but Shaq couldn't hit it either. Crozier. You know what Phil might be doing? He might be wanting to feel the taste of this beating they're getting right tonight from the Pacers. He might want them to fly home all night feeling this going into game six, Bob. You know, he's always thinking of motivational tools the one thing, though, he's got to be very careful about, again, is injury. That can change a playoff series in a heartbeat. This is a nice moment. Not just Miller going out to a tremendous ovation after scoring 25, 18 of them in the first half. Their last game here this season, no matter the outcome of the series. But what's also nice is that Chris Mullen will get some minutes. Glenn Rice misses on the three. Crozier takes the rebound. Chris Mullen is a five-time All-Star. Probably a candidate for the Hall of Fame. Once a 25-point-a-game scorer with Golden State. Two-time Olympic gold medalist. Teammate of Larry Bird on the Dream Team in 92. And now when he finally gets to an NBA final, he's near the end of his career and relegated to the bench. He's barely played in this series and hasn't scored yet. Well, Larry Bird said he had to go early in the season and tell Chris Mullen his minutes were going to be cut back because Jalen Rose is going to be a starter. He said, I didn't realize they were going to be cut back so drastically. But he said, this guy has been a real pro all season long. Looks like John Sally's getting ready to step into the game here for the Lakers, see if he comes in for Shaquille O'Neal. That'll be it for Shaq at the 424 mark. I think it's a great move by Phil Jackson. And so Sam Perkins, who needs to conserve all the energy that remains in that 39-year-old body, goes out. And John Tabak, apparently, will get the mop-up work.
sure Larry Bird is saying to himself right now, can, is there any way that I can possibly bottle what happened here tonight and take that with us on the plane? But you know what? That can't happen. They're going to have to go out to the Staples Center and in front of that L.A. crowd find a way to play with the energy they have played with tonight. This crowd has really lifted them tonight. John Tabak gets his name in the scoreboard. Kobe. Dribbling like crazy, then delivering the pass. Here's Fisher into the lane. Knocked away from him to Bryant for the jumper. That's no good. Ori over the back of Crozier and Ori with the foul. Now Jonathan Bender will check into the game. A little penetration here, and John Tabak being part of the action here. Now remember, this is the guy along with Sam Perkins that tried to simulate Shaquille O'Neal as they prepared for this series. And when the Pacers played him in game one and Shaq went for 43, they realized that the real Shaq was the real deal. Yeah, no case of mistaken identity possible there. <laughs> Shaq had 35 points, 11 rebounds, played 42 minutes tonight. And, and you know, as much as this might sound crazy, he had 35, but it wasn't the dominating 35. You know, Bobby had the points, but not the kind of points that crush the spirits of your team. Here's John Sally, his replacement, and his first two points. John Sally, kind of an amazing story. Out of the NBA for three years. Did some work in television. And despite that demerit on his resume, coming from the world of TV, they let him come back and put on a uniform. And speaking of Sally, he has picked his spots very well. He was a true contributor on championship teams with the Pistons. Then he hooks on with the Bulls in 96, gets a ring, and along for the ride here in Los Angeles with a chance to become the first player in NBA history to win rings with three different franchises. This summer on NBC, we have a Law & Order doubleheader every week. Tune in for great drama with Law & Order every Monday and Wednesday all summer long. This is now a 30-point game, 111 to 81. Fisher for three. The rebound to young Jonathan Bender. Well, they have high hopes for him, Bob. Here's Mullen looking for a shot. Not selfishly, but the fans would love to see him get an open look and put one down here. Crozier swung by Ori. Tell you, Austin Crozier, how confident and how aggressive is he playing? He's catching that ball in the post. Absolutely no hesitation at all. He spins quickly on Ori, gets the first step. Nobody there at the basket with Shaq out of the game. That will not count, so he'll shoot two free throws. I think now you're going to see Brian Shaw come in for Kobe Bryant. Not one of the nights that Kobe will remember. At game four, he was sensational. Tonight, never really got his rhythm. He shot four for 20. And again, no free throw attempts. Bob, he's had two games now where he's taken a combined 47 shots and not gotten to the free throw line in the entire free, in the entire series. He's only